Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here to introduce the Santa Cruz crossover truck concept. It's a new interpretation of a truck for a new generation of buyers. When we look at the market, we see some fundamental changes happening. Millennials now represent the second largest population of car buyers, and women account for nearly 50% of light vehicle purchases. Urbanization is also a trend impacting the market, something that's very strong with young adults, meaning tighter parking on streets and in parking garages, and generally more congestion overall. Now, these changes aren't limited to one specific region. They're happening all over the U.S., including right here in Detroit, where the lofts surrounding us here at Cobo Hall are sold out. We call the people leading this shift urban adventurers. They have a different mindset. They're active socially and in their communities and bring a pioneering spirit to make their neighborhoods a better place to live and to work. Now, if you're like me and live in the suburbs, you might be surprised to find out what's happening downtown. For example, there's a growing urban farming movement in city centers all across the U.S. where a new generation is rediscovering what locally grown seasonal food actually tastes like. They're finding lost treasures, furniture, classic architecture, and other items long forgotten. And they're eager to lend a hand in rebuilding their community, both physically and socially, to its former glory. When it comes to the weekend, they recharge with a variety of escapes out of the city to enjoy nature with their friends. So when we set out to design the Santa Cruz, we didn't want to cover the same ground or the same customer as traditional pickups. We focused on the needs of the urban adventurer. First and foremost is satisfying their desire for expression. And our designers certainly delivered with a unique and bold design that's just plain cool. Now, of course, it has to be efficient. There's a choice of advanced powertrains, including an ultra-clean, two-liter turbo diesel, delivering 190 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque, capable of handling anything the urban adventurer throws at it, while achieving fuel economy in the high 30s. And it's small for a reason. Although it has four doors and room for five, its footprint is similar to a small CUV, ideal for maneuvering in the city and grabbing that tight parking spot. It delivers all the attributes that make CUVs so attractive. But what sets Santa Cruz apart is its versatile cargo bed that provides a separate place for all of their stuff. And as we've discovered, that's a lot of stuff. So whether today's activity is pitching in on a community volunteer project or loading mountain bikes for a trip to the trails, all of their dirty, wet, sandy, and bulky gear stays in the back, separated from the passenger compartment. But Santa Cruz is not just about carrying stuff. It's ideal for passengers, too. So whether you're picking up friends in firewood for a trip to the lake or volunteering to coach your niece's soccer team, you have room for all of your gear and comfortable seating for five. You can even give a lift home to the entire midfield. Right, girls? And with Hyundai's H-Track all-wheel drive, you'll have no trouble getting through the pass and up to the slopes for that snowboarding weekend with the crew. During the week, bring your gear along for that early morning workout or after-work hockey game. You can keep it securely locked in the back under the integrated, rigid tonneau cover. It not only keeps items safe and out of sight, but also keeps your vehicle from smelling like a locker room when it's time to hit the town. Come on, don't keep her waiting. By now, you've got the idea. Santa Cruz is the perfect vehicle for those that want the attributes of a CUV, but still have lots of things that belong back there. But there are occasional times that call for even more cargo room. And that's where Santa Cruz offers a few surprises. For example, there are multiple tie-down points, not just in the bed, but in the wheel wells, perfect for a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard. An even bigger, bigger surprise? An innovative tailgate extension mechanism allows the bed length to be expanded when those just-in-case moments arise, like spotting that antique chest that's just perfect for reconditioning. When fully extended, Santa Cruz's bed length is similar to a mid-sized pickup, providing the ability to carry much more than its diminutive size would suggest, because you never know what kind of treasure you might discover. The Hyundai Santa Cruz was designed to accommodate everything the urban adventurer's lifestyle calls for, nothing more and nothing less. 
Now, Santa Cruz isn't the first vehicle to blend truck bed functionality with passenger car features. But those past attempts were limited because they didn't deliver a clear customer value. Some had design issues, while others tried to attract truck buyers with products that really didn't measure up. Santa Cruz isn't trying to be an alternative to a truck. So max towing, payload, and ground clearance aren't the point at all. There are plenty of excellent pickups on the market for customers who need that type of capability, and we've seen even more examples unveiled here today. But the research tells us that not everyone that needs an open bed wants that capability or the trade-offs that come with it. In fact, pickup share is down over 5% in the last 10 years, with the biggest shift among young adults. Now, years ago, when small trucks accounted for half of pickup sales, they were very popular with young buyers. Today, that young truck market is almost non-existent. Buyers under 30 represent just 7% of pickup purchases. And women, who buy nearly half of all CUVs sold, account for only 10% of pickup sales. So clearly there are customers out there that the current market is not serving. Santa Cruz is intended for the growing population who sees and pursues the world differently. People who love the attributes of a small CUV, but value the versatility an open bed provides. It's a vehicle for the next frontier and for the urban adventurers who are leading the way. And we intend to be right there with them.